Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthivan. Today I am going to take a training on story points. Story points are kind of a relative estimation technique that we use in agile implementation to estimate the user stories. So I can say a user story can be one point and the second user story can be three point based on the effort, complexities and so on. Now let's give some examples of how do you estimate the stories using story points. Say you see this example one where you have three buildings. Building one is three floors, building two is six floors and building three is nine floors. So if you just take amount of work three, six and nine you'll say like if it takes me one story point for the first building then it's going to take me two story points because it's twice the work on the third building is going to take me three story points. But the catch here is maybe this first building is very simple. It just involves a kind of hall or a basic rooms. But the second building may have more complexities. It can have swimming pool or other or additional office buildings or kind of you no know, projector building, projector rooms and something like that. Maybe a third building can have you no know, upper roof with you know some additional complexities. So in story points, every time when you estimate it, you have to use three attributes. One is the amount of work it takes. In our example, so the first thing is it takes three floors, six floors, and nine floors. So you can accordingly you know estimate. Second thing is complexity, like how much complex it is to complete the building. Third thing is risk and uncertainties. There may be a requirement to build a specific room that the engineers may not know how to do that or may kind of need some kind of expertise. So you have to take those into account when you estimation. So this is a general example. When you come to the insurance or like, you know, sorry, IT example, say you are building a screen with one screen with one field compared to other field with other screen with four fields. Now, this is a very straightforward work, only one screen with a text box. So it's going to take you one story point. Now, when you relatively estimate the other user story, because it takes you one story point here, and the second story has three more fields, total of four fields. So you are taking amount of work into consideration. Second thing is complexity. So the first screen has a text box. It is possible that the second screen has text box or a calendar icon or some kind of validation. Say if the user have entered some fields and if it's invalid, we have to give some error. Uh, we have to give some no message. So the complexity has to be taken into account. Third thing is risk and uncertainty. Say user is asking for a specific field with some specific requirement. Like you know, say you enter a card number, then it has to populate by default the CVV field. So there could be some complexity the developer may need some kind of analysis. So that also has to be taken into consideration. So overall we have to take these three attributes into consideration when you come up with the story points. <coughs> now let's take into let's go how do we do this. Now you know what is story point as I told you it's a relative estimation where it goes on in the Fibonacci series like either 1, 2, 3, 5, 13 and this has nothing to do with the days. All that you are trying to do is relatively estimating like story one takes me one story point and story two is more complex than that it takes me two story points now in the planning poker is a concept which we use to come up with the story points what happens is every time a ba or a product owner goes through the user story like as a user i need to use an application so that i can do so and so and then they will go through whatever the acceptance criteria now the entire team development QA they will ask all the required questions and then once they have all the required details the planning poker is done in such a way that at the same time people will use either cards or an app to show that okay the developer will say the story is going to take me three story points when they say three it's not just the development overall story then the other team member will say it's going to take me 13 story points now we need to ask both the person who said 3 and the person who said 13 to justify. Why did you say 13? Why did you say 3? Now what they will say is the person who said 13 will say I need to develop a new database, I have to complete a design, all the stuff. The person who have given 3 may be more experienced and he may say this database, similar kind of database has been done for my previous project so we can reuse that. So now we are getting more information. Then again the same set of stories will be read and then they will do re-estimation. Now it will be more accurate. So the goal here is discussion. 
so when you discuss discuss and come up with overall no story points it's going to be more or less accurate so that's how we do the planning poker a lot of you may be asking right like no when a project managers are coming to the development team they are more concerned about when are you going to complete the project if you don't relate the story points to days or hours how are you going to answer them right so that is the reason why we use velocity velocity means say like you have a product backlog with 30 user stories the overall story points for all the 30 user stories is 100 so the overall story points for all the 30 user stories is 100 just remember we are not doing it or we are not equating to days now you are having sprint one with your team like you have three developers two qas with your expertise you are able to complete your sprint one with 20 story points which tells the project managers that this team is capable of completing 20 story points for one sprint which is nothing but velocity so you know if you take 20 story points for one sprint the overall 100 story points can be done in five sprints this is how you are going to tell when the project is going to be done if you see an entire process i have not talked about days i have not talked about hours it can be one story point can be like instead of one and two you can say small and medium or you can say 1 million and 2 million i am not equating to hours all that i am saying is relatively story 2 is going to be more than story 1 based on its complexity based on the amount of work based on the risk and uncertainty so this is how we do story point one thing is story point is a relative estimation where you compare story 1 <coughs> with another story and then come up with estimation second thing is you use the planning poker to do this exercise third thing is you never equate the story points to either days or hours which is a wrong practice and to know when your project is going to be completed using story points you use a concept called velocity which will tell you your team how much time it's going to take to complete number of stories per sprint which will tell you the velocity from which you can calculate the overall sprints i hope you like my training videos if you like my training videos please do subscribe to my youtube channel have a great day bye bye